Arizona is home to a number of breathtaking national parks. From the awe-inspiring Grand Canyon to the desert landscapes of Sagaro, these parks offer myriad experiences that captivate the hearts of nature lovers, adventurers, and photographers alike. Join Viewcation as we take you through the best national parks in Arizona. Grand Canyon National Park the Grand Canyon National Park, open throughout the year, is a world-renowned spectacle offering more than just breathtaking views. Over millions of years, the unrelenting Colorado River carved this natural wonder, attesting to the strength and beauty of the natural world. The park's historical significance is equally compelling, having served as a sacred home to 11 different Native American tribes. The south rim of the park is a bustling hub, offering a range of amenities including lodging, restaurants, museums, and other services. However, if you're seeking a quieter, more serene experience, the north rim is an excellent alternative. Open from mid-May to mid-October, it offers a less crowded yet equally stunning view of the canyon. Sagaro National Park Nestled in the heart of Arizona, this park is a must-visit for nature and history enthusiasts. Famous for its towering Sagaro cacti and prehistoric rock carvings, the park offers a unique blend of natural beauty and historical intrigue. Interestingly, this park served as the backdrop for John Wayne's iconic westerns, adding a touch of cinematic nostalgia to its charm. The park, which straddles the city of Tucson, was established in 1933 by President Herbert Hoover. It serves as a protective haven for large swaths of the Sonoran Desert, including the Tucson and Rincon mountain ranges. The park is split in half, with one located east of Tucson in the Rincon Mountain District and the other west of the city in the Tucson Mountain District. The Rincon Mountain District, larger of the two, boasts a vast network of hiking trails, offering visitors a chance to explore the diverse flora and fauna. The Tucson Mountain District, though smaller, provides ample opportunities for photography and explorations. One of the highlights is Signal Hill, where you can marvel at ancient petroglyphs, offering a glimpse into the region's rich past. The park offers trails for hiking, cycling, and horseback riding. Petrified Forest National Park Petrified Forest National Park in eastern Arizona offers a unique journey back in time. This fascinating destination is home to peculiar rock formations and fossilized logs dating back over 200 million years. It provides a drive-through experience with marked overlooks where you can stop and soak in the panoramic views. But to truly experience the park's essence, walking along its trails is highly recommended. They lead you to key sites like the Painted Desert, a stunning canvas of colorful, sedimentary layers, and the remains of a centuries-old Pueblo. For those seeking a more adventurous experience, the park offers a remote, off-the-beaten-path adventure at Devil's Playground. Here, the forces of erosion have sculpted intriguing hoodoos of the clay soil, creating a surreal landscape that is sure to captivate your imagination. Chiricahua National Monument Tucked away in the southeastern corner of Arizona, the Chiricahua National Monument is a mesmerizing place to behold. The Apaches have bestowed upon this natural wonder the name, the Land of Standing Up Rocks, and it's not hard to see why. The monument is a mesmerizing display of geological formations that'll leave you in awe. Over the millennia, the forces of wind and rain have sculpted the landscape into a sea of stunning stone spires and balanced rocks. These formations, known as hoodoos, create a surreal panorama that stretches as far as the eye can see. The landscape is punctuated by prominent pinnacles, natural bridges, and rugged volcanic rocks, each adding a touch to the overall spectacle. This area, once a refuge for the Chiricahua Apaches, now draws hikers and photographers from around the world. Vermilion Cliffs National Monument just south of the Utah state line lies the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Established in 2000 by President Bill Clinton, this national monument is a vibrant tapestry of colors and history. The monument derives its name from the striking cliffs that dominate the landscape. These cliffs, painted in hues of red, orange, and pink, shift with the changing light of day, creating a dynamic and captivating spectacle. But the cliffs are not the only attraction here. The monument also features striking slot canyons and beautiful buttes, all set against a backdrop of swirling sandstone-colored scenery. Amidst these natural wonders, visitors can discover prehistoric petroglyphs and the remains of ancient Native American pueblos, adding a layer of historical intrigue to the stunning landscape. Canyon de Shelley National Monument 
Nestled in the northeastern corner of Arizona, Canyon de Shelly National Monument is a place of profound historical and cultural significance. This labyrinth of three narrow canyons, known collectively as Canyon de Shelly, has been a sanctuary for indigenous peoples for nearly 5,000 years. They're home to more than 800 ancient archaeological sites, each bearing silent testimony to the rich history of the region. These sites are deeply revered by the Navajo and other tribes, adding a layer of spiritual significance to the natural beauty of the area. Today, Navajo families continue to inhabit this remote spot, maintaining a deep connection with the land through farming and other traditional practices. Established as a national monument in 1931, Canyon de Shelly is unique in that it's administered by the National Park Service but is located entirely within the Navajo tribal homeland. Visitors are invited to explore the canyons through self-guided driving tours along the north and south rims. For a deeper understanding, horseback tours with a Navajo guide are available, as well as jeep tours, offering insights into the cultural context and historical importance of this sacred place. Wupatki National Monument Northern Arizona is home to Wupatki National Monument, which provides an intriguing look into ancient Sinaguan communities. The monument is home to open grassland pueblos, remnants of a civilization thought to have been driven away by a volcanic eruption. Visitors can tour the 900-year-old Wukoki Pueblo, marveling at the intricate adobe construction that has withstood the test of time. It also features a short hike up to Citadel Pueblo, which offers panoramic views across a lava-studded desert dotted with other ruins. Each site offers a unique window into the past, revealing the resilience and ingenuity of the Sanaguan people. Montezuma's Castle National Monument Despite its name, Montezuma's castle has nothing to do with Montezuma the Aztec Emperor. The misnomer was coined by white explorers who rediscovered the ruins in 1860 and reasoned that the spectacular place must have been built for a king. This cliffside complex, one of North America's largest and best preserved cliff dwellings, was built around AD 700 by the Sinagua people and abandoned in 1485, probably after a long drought. The 20-room dwelling, which was more of an apartment complex reached by ladders than a fortress, probably housed about 50 people. Today, an easy paved trail leads out to the ruins, offering visitors a glimpse into the past. Walnut Canyon National Monument just 10 miles east of Flagstaff, the Walnut Canyon National Monument weaves a captivating tale of natural splendor and ancient human ingenuity. The canyon, with its deep, sinuous curves etched into the striking white kaibab limestone, is a sight to behold. It's the canyon's cliff dwellings that truly set it apart. There are over 80 single-family homes ingeniously tucked into natural limestone overhangs. These modest rooms, just spacious enough for cooking and sleeping, were constructed between 1125 and 1250 AD. Interestingly, the Sitnagua people are also credited with the construction of the distinctively different Montezuma's Castle, located 30 miles south. Today, visitors can explore many of these structures along a paved one-mile loop that descends 55 meters from the visitor center on the rim. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited any of these parks? Do you think you might like to? Let us know in the comments section below.